We begin this video with the bumper and the mufflers already removed. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. There is a heat shield between the heads and the mufflers that you also need to remove. The heat shield is held in place by two E12 Torx screws, red arrows. On the right side, you will also need to move the ground cable out of the way. Use a 13 mm socket and remove the nut, yellow arrow, and swing the cable out of the way. Remove the screws and slide the heat shield forward and out from between the head and the muffler bracket. It will be a tight fit, but there is no need to bend the shield. On the left side, the E12s are in different locations, red arrows. Remove them and slide the shield out towards the front of the vehicle. With the heat shield out of the way, you can easily access the three coils on each cylinder bank, red arrows. The plugs are directly underneath them. Squeeze in the tab on the electrical connections, red arrow, and slide the connector back and off of the coil. There's a lot of heat in this area and the connectors can get brittle, so take care with the small tabs on the connector. Use an E12 torque and remove the single screw holding each coil to the cylinder head, red arrow. Slightly twist the coil as you pull them back and out. Installation is the reverse of removal. You can put a very small amount of dielectric grease on the end of each coil, but it is not necessary. When reinstalling, torque both the coil screws and the heat shield screws to 10 newton meters or 7.5 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.